Next best PBN strategy for 2024 says Roy. Oh, sorry, Miss Johns. Can you go over how you do on page SEO currently after the latest G update? Yeah, I just did. I just spent 50 minutes talking about it. Go view this site if you want, bucketin.fellingpro. I've got other examples you can look at, whatever. Um, you can also come join our mastermind, get this SOP. Um, this is exactly right here. This SOP for LLG site deployment, which is local lead gen site deployment, uh, is precisely what I'm doing. We have one for high level and we have another one, as I was just showing you guys a minute ago or said a minute ago, we have one for WordPress as well, for those of you that aren't using high level. And um, again, very, very thorough. So, and there's even a clone file that I've created with that's pre-configured with this format and short codes and everything else. So all you got to do is the way that I teach this guys is we create what I call geo-relevance data, which is a, I'll just show you, here's an example. This is what we do. This is how we build the sites, okay? This is all in the SOPs that I share in our mastermind. Whether you're in the DHA program or not, you get access to the SOPs that I have in, in the mastermind, guys, to be clear. So all of these SOPs that I'm sharing with you guys are available in the mastermind for all members right now, okay? There's not an additional charge for that. And so what I'm saying is here's what we use to build those sites, right? This is an example. I just built this site last week. So we collect all the data into an Excel file into various sheets, and then we upload these sheets or in the WordPress um, site or in high level, there's forms that then we just copy and paste the data and this can be delegated. Once you learn the process, then you should delegate this and that's what the SOPs are for so that you can assign the SOP to a team member and then they go through it and do it so you don't have to do it anymore. Why? So that instead of you doing SEO tasks that have already been systematized, you can go out and focus on marketing and sales and generating revenue for your agency instead of building sites. By the way, building these sites, is that earning you money? No, ultimately it might, but don't, don't, aren't you still going to have to sell the site? So aren't you going to have to generate the lead that is interested in potentially hearing about what you have to offer? So you have to learn marketing to generate leads and you have to learn sales to make the sale. So instead of spending all your time building these sites, you should be focusing on learn how to do it, sure, so that you're familiar with it, and then delegate it out so that you can have a VA that you're paying six or eight or 10 bucks an hour or 40 bucks per site build or whatever, however you decide to pay them. They're out there building while you're focusing on lead generation and sales for your own agency. Generating revenue, that's what your role should be, is generating revenue, not building sites, especially when you have SOPs and templates for it, right? Delegate that. And then focus on marketing and sales because nobody cares about the revenue of your agency as much as you do. Nobody. So shouldn't you be focusing on generating revenue then instead of what's the next SEO tactic? I mean, again, guys, I know we're all here because we love SEO. Sure. But did you do it because you love SEO? Did you get into this because you love SEO? Or did you get into this to make money? Uh, I did it for both, really. But originally it was to make money, but I fell in love with SEO. But I'll be honest with you, what I do, what I work 14 hours a day, I work 14 hours a day because I'm passionate about it and I have the energy to do it. I'm not kidding. But I wouldn't put that kind of time and effort into it if I didn't like it, right? And so, and part of the reason I like it is because it produces a lot of revenue for me now, right? So again, if you got into this business for fun, great, fine. Keep doing building sites and everything. But if you got into this business to make money and figure out how to systematize your business on the things that are effective, and then delegate it and focus on marketing and sales so that you can sell that to others. That's where you make the money, okay? Uh, anyway, I just, again, I just, I, I get very stressed out from, and disappointed from seeing so many, um, just people are still optimizing like it's 2020. It's, the algorithm is almost unrecognizable from what it was a few years ago, guys. Uh, so learn how to optimize for today's environment. I, I mean, I'm just talking about local SEO and mainly service area businesses. I'll just claim that all. I'm not saying my way is the only way or the perfect way. I'm telling you that I've nailed it for tree service contractors. And if you apply this kind of framework to other industries, especially service area type businesses, it's likely going to work. It's just going to require some trial and error to figure out the best configuration in your specific industry. But it can be done. But I was just talking to one of our program members, DHA program members. We have every four weeks in a personal one-on-one -on -one accountability meeting with me. And I was talking to one of our members earlier today on our call, our accountability call. And, um, you know, I, I said that 
you know, repeating the same thing over and over and over again and get, expecting different results is, is, is never going to help. So, uh, you know, learn this framework and implement it for your specific agency. And then you just you scale over and over and over again. And that's how you're going to get consistency, generate revenue consistently.